good morning welcome back to on the road adventure today is a sunny a sunday afternoon and we are going through the lovely south devon lanes we're heading off to a little spot that even knows unfortunately this is a vegan rubbish but i have Hi. to i have to reluctantly agree that it is bloody good do you remember we took uh smiley and adam here and they said it was good yeah, they were very reluctant as well, weren't they? But yes. what can you do? It is good grub. Uh, before I met you, that was my usual Sunday spot. Very nice too. This is the Big Kebabski. People hear that vegan kebab, they're like, oh no, that's not for me. Yeah, I mean, the vegan food's very good, and I think it's because you put more effort into herbs and spices and flavour than relying on the meat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can put whatever name or label on it you like, but it tastes good, it tastes good. You're not looking for the I always feel like eating one and taking one home. Did you know that things happen here? What happens here? Well, things happen here. <laughs> Let's go find out. So as I understand it, I think this is a, a community-run bar yeah. and they actually brew all their own beers and stuff. Everything that's on tap, they make themselves. And we know, having been here before, that they do alcohol-free options as well. So uh, that's what we're going to grab while we wait for the kebabs. Harley Sports, uh, three of Harley Sports. That one's quite cool, but which one? It's different. The, the third one, I like the third one. A little triumph. How did you like your kebab? Do you know what? I'd love to be that guy to moan about all vegan rubbish and that, but what can you do? You know, they know how to use herbs and spices and make things taste really good, and you know, yeah, put any I... label on it you like. It's good food. I always say if you just boil chicken and you didn't put any spices, it doesn't taste like anything amazing, does it? No, absolutely. So, uh, definitely, no, I definitely all in recommend the spices. That place. And it's a nice vibe there as well. So that Dartington, I think it's the Dartington Trust, is like a local community area. And on a Sunday, there's a man there with a deck out, and you know, people bringing their families and that, and those people are making their vegan kebabs. It's definitely a bit of a hipster place, but um. Yeah, it's a nice place to be for an hour or so, isn't it, in the sun? Yeah, they are not always there, so it's worth checking when they are, mm. because they're mobile, the kebab. Um. So if you are interested, you can find them on Instagram or Facebook. It's the Big Kebabski. Yeah, I always stalk them every weekend to see what I can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> So we're off now down through South Devon and we're going to show you some really pretty areas. So first up we'll be passing by an area with a, a large grand old home called Berry Pomeroy or Berry Pomeroy Castle I think it is. There's a lot of stories there about hauntings and all the rest of it. You know, we haven't got time to look around there today but uh, We'll, uh, we'll fly by quickly and show you what's there. How about this for a nice little hidden village? Yeah, it is really oh. nice here. Castle Cafe, very popular. It's supposed to be the old gatehouse or something. Uh, we definitely need to find ourselves some uh, legal byways and stuff and see what these Africa twins can do off-road. I suspect they're a lot more capable than us. Oh, look at that. Amazing what's hidden down these Devon lanes, isn't it? Never cease to surprise. Mm. 
Nice place, definitely need to come back when it's open. Wow, look at that view. I do like oh. this hill. South Devon's got it all in it. One minute you're in the countryside, in amazing country lanes and everything, surrounded by old cottages and all the rest of it. And only five minutes later, you can be by the seaside, a nice seaside town. Beautiful here, isn't it? On a day like today, England looks fantastic. Oh, things have got serious. Oh. We're off. We want that motorcycle bay over there. Okay, to go to the roundabout. Really nice fountain here on the left. <laughs> Look at this uh, really old BMW here. Look at the switches on it. It's amazing. Proper retro that. Well, you wouldn't believe it, but it's October. The sun is blazing today, which is awesome. We're not gonna get many more days like this, so down along the South Devon coast is the place to be. And um, there's a lot of nice uh, toys driving up and down here as well, isn't there? Some nice Aston Martins and people knocking around. Obviously, always too slow with the camera to show you some <laughs> of the nice things going by. There's a, a club of- Loads of bikes went by, actually. What are those old camper vans called? The Volkswagen camper vans. There was a club of them that went by just now with the split screens really and everything. Nice. nice, yeah. So, yeah, everybody's down here enjoying themselves, having ice cream, walk along here. It's yeah, nice, isn't it? I feel like I needed a chilled Sunday today in the sun by the beach with my favourite kebab mm. and a nice chilled ride on the coast. Yeah. Now, we're not one to moan, but it's a bit too hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> It gets a little bit better when you're on the bike because you get a bit of a breeze, but other than that, too hot. It's nice though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nice weather. Too hot, too cold, too windy, too rainy. It's always too something. Yeah. But never too much riding. <laughs> no. There we go, another brutal day living like holiday makers. <laughs> it's a hard life and it's horrible being a YouTuber, isn't it? I know. Oh, I don't know what it's like. Really hard work. Just ride all the time and go different places. Mm. <laughs> In all fairness, that's what we've always done. Yeah. Doggo. Thank you. Absolutely stunning here though in Torquay. The interesting thing about Torquay is that there's like there's something of everybody here. There's like the extreme rich and that. Some of the yachts, million pound yachts and stuff in the harbour and uh, nice cars and that. And then there's the other end of society as High well. High Street. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a um, there's a channel, isn't there? Turd Towns. Turd Towns Torquay. Look it up and you'll see the other end of uh, what's around here. Yeah, it is quite funny. Yeah, we like that one. Yeah. Awesome. Back to the bikes. Wow, look at that. The sun's just setting down on the hill behind us, so we can't see that. Very nice chilled Sunday. Chilled ride. Devon's a beautiful place to come and ride. There's so much to see down here. 
Uh, I think we've done another another video on South Dev, and I'll pop a link for that for you here at the end. But um, yeah, thanks for joining us. Leave us a comment, and if there's anywhere around the area that you know of, and you'd like us to go and visit and show you what's there, let us know in the comments, and we'll definitely do it. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for now, and bye.